And we back. Shouts out to y'all that came over from the live stream. Shouts out to y'all that are watching this video on demand. That just means y'all don't like my live streams. It's cool. Y'all need to check them out sometimes. Um, I wanted to do a video on CD Lamb again. I know I've done other videos on CD Lamb, but I don't think I've gone into as much detail as I think I should have. Right. Because the more film I watched on him and I got two years worth of film and I got like seven games, um, you know, you know, just just in this in this film session, just the 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 details, the small nuances in his game. And I did this because I got into a shouting match is Vice Lombardi, by the way. I got into a shouting match with one of these I am legend monsters with one of these guys on the tweet machine. Right. And it was like, well, Vice CD Lamb is kind of overrated because he's only yak guy. Well, let me just kind of correct y'all for a minute. Let me correct y'all and prevent any type of um, thought, just in case you did think this. Let me just kind of fix that to help the community, so to speak, right? Yes, C.D. Lamb is special with the ball in his hands. That's what makes him great. Let's get into some film. That's what makes C.D. Lamb great with the ball in his hand. And one of the I Am Legend Monsters point was, yes, even though he got the ball in his hand, you know, that ain't always going to work in the league. He needs to have other skills. Well, first of all, I think him with the ball in his hands is kind of like young Alvin Kamara, right? And even though Alvin is in the league, let me rewind this back because because y'all may have missed y'all may have missed the comparison there, right? First of all, Alvin is in the league, so let's not say that yak ability does not exist in the league or not being able to to, to get hit doesn't exist in the league. Then the 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 next point was how we get C D Lamb the ball, right? Uh, you know these gadgety plays, these this, this quick game, this short pass game. This also happens in the league, so let's just not create scenarios to where you think C D Lamb won't be great. Like even if even if he's not the receiver, I think he is. Let's just do things like this to get him the ball quickly and let him be great. This exists, but he's more than just that. And I'm here to show you all that today with all these details and nuances that I got to show you. I'm going to say detail a bunch today, so just get ready for that. I want you all to count how many times I say detail in the chat box. I'm going to say it a bunch. But these are six things that I kind of came up with that are not being yak guy that I think CD lamb is really good at. And I'm gonna show y'all film on these things, right? Contested catches ball in the air blocks when he deals with less space. I'm going to explain that a little bit when I get closer to it. Um, you know, route running and all that. And then like the highlight catches, I think if you're just a yak guy, you don't do these six things, right? So, and I kind of wanted to section it off a little bit and just talk about one at a time, but I couldn't because when I would be talking about um, him navigating with less space, he would run a really good route to get off of a jam. You know what I mean? Or when the ball is in the air, he was contested. Let's watch some film, man. Let's let's just watch some film and get this thing going here. C.D. Lamb. So we're talking about contested catches right now. If he's a yak guy, first of all, he wouldn't be able to 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 make catches down the field anyway he wouldn't be much of a vertical threat but i have plenty of reasons why he is a vertical threat he's gonna score here let me rewind and just get into the contested part of it right cd lamb's gonna be right here where you know right here in the slot where we're probably gonna have him for the majority of the time he's gonna mostly play a lot of slot and when you play a lot of slots you play a lot over the middle i think cd lamb's gonna dominate here for the cowboys right between the numbers mostly right up inside the hashes and when you catch passes up in there there's people that are going to hit you, right? But the good thing about C.D. Lamb is that he can make these catches even while he's being hit. And, of course, him being a yeah guy, he could possibly turn that into even more yards. Let's take a look at another one, right? C.D. Lamb's going to be lined up up top here. He's the outside receiver now, right up here. And he's going to make this catch contested going up against TCU. We know we we know about them damn TCU corners, man. We've been keeping up with the draft and all that. Those, those guys play you physical. They play you tough. So being able to make catches through that contestability, I know I just made that word up. I know that word don't exist. How about this play? If CeeDee Lamb was just a short pass yak guy, then he wouldn't be able to make big plays in the air like this, okay? You got to be, you know, you got to be able to play the ball in the air. There's a couple things that go along with there's 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 ball tracking, there's physicality, there's going up to catch it. We all know he got hands, so I ain't really going to say much about his hands here. But we know he's a fantastic receiver, and he's going to have to catch some passes over some people, right? Well, Vash, that's just one time. You just pick that one little highlight where he just kind of jumped over people well not necessarily because he did it again 
your goofy ass. He does it a lot. CeeDee Lamb makes a lot of these damn catches, man, where he just jumps in the air, finds the ball in the air. His ball tracking is fantastic. Then to pair that in with the eye coordination and to use the hands and the enzymes, collaborate to create a function and all that, boom, does it again. This is one of my favorite plays right here because this is him playing the ball in the air, but this is what a red zone look would look like. Red zone look would look like a red zone play, whatever. Um, Hey, you want to do a lot of throws to the back shoulder? Cool. Let C.D. Lamb just kind of get on an island with a dude like so. Just put the ball in the air like so. Then just kind of let C.D. find it. Just let him find it. You ain't got to be, uh, you know, 6'5", jump ball, jump over me kind of guy, even though CeeDee Lamb can do that. But you ain't got to be that guy to have, you know, ball in the air success in the red zone. Let's just do back shoulder things. This is my favorite part about it. Let me sip my tea before we get started. Mm-mm. Y'all know I like blockers at receiver, right? Take a look at your boy at the bottom. Take a look at Sedarian Lamb at the bottom. But I told y'all I was going to hit y'all with the word details today. I was going to hit you with the details a bunch today. Watch this. Y'all know it's not like CeeDee Lamb kind of sets up his DB like he's going to run a route here. So we stop and chop those feet. And what that does is that it stops the DB's feet in order for CeeDee Lamb to get a pancake. Right. If you're a DB and you're covering CeeDee Lamb, you're worried about his route running ability and what he does. Of course, when he stops his feet, you're going to stop yours. But when you stop your feet, CeeDee Lamb is going to proceed to run through you. Right. But it ain't just one time. Take a look at Sedarian down bottom. I know this happens a bunch, but this is really efficient for a college football player to set up your blocks with your routes. Take a look at this. He did it again. <laughs> he did it again. He'll kind of do this pre snap. Boom, 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 boom. Just to get you moving. Look at the DB's feet. He don't know what it, I wish I had that cartoon sound effect. You know, that one that sounds crazy. I wish I had it to kind of play along with his with his feet right here. Right. Because just look at what City Lamb's doing to him to get the pancake on the back end. Tenacious. Again, he ain't going to do it again, is he? City Lamb up top. Nah, this was just this was just finding work. This was just finding work. My receiver's not selfish. My first round receiver's not selfish. He's just finding work. Take a look at him leading this guy downfield, right? Just getting this cornerback out to play. Then he sees that his teammate got the ball. Let me get off of this guy to go make a block <laughs> to free my guy up. My, my first round receiver ain't selfish, man. So let's talk about him versus some press coverage. Now, he didn't get a whole bunch of it, and it was for various reasons. You know, you don't want to, you know, press cover CeeDee Lamb too much because if he gets past you, then your ass is dead as fried chicken. So um, that's your own fault. So he didn't run into a lot of it. And to be fair, if you're a prolific player, you won't get a lot of press coverage anyway. It's not like Jerry Judy had a lot of it or, or you know, Ruggs had a lot of it. It's just one of those things that just kind of happens. But what I did want to bring to the table here is that when he was faced with a situation where the space was reduced because just because a cornerback walks down on you doesn't mean he's going to jam you right we can get one hand jams two hand jams uh sometimes we can just mirror you right so when cd lamb was in this situation i more so was looking at what he did to get free right because if you look at some receivers they'll probably panic in this situation but cd just kind of uses route running to get open and i do like that now he doesn't always use route running to get open why because cornerbacks normally give him a lot of space if a corner is going to give you a free release just a free ass release then just go run around and get open but if you're going to walk down to constrict my space and i got to do what i got to do to get open and in this scenario cd lamb is going to give us some nice little head movement hands and feet boom inside just to work back outside and what we get is a little bit of space now if our quarterback decides to throw it to us and Jalen Hurts never threw at any kind of close coverage like if you wasn't wide the hell open Jalen Hurts was not going to throw the ball to you wide the hell open like you see this tight end down bottom that's how wide the hell open you got to be and that's why you know that's why Jalen threw it to him but in the many situations I saw um you know you 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 if you had any kind of coverage on you you wouldn't you wouldn't get the ball at all but what i like about cd is that even when he was faced with that he had a way to get open and defeat that coverage right take a look at this even on this play take a look at cd down bottom let me move my remote over here cd down bottom we see a situation all right cool you may not be press jamming press jamming me you possibly could but i do know that you're constricting my space so now let's turn into cd lamb the route runner we're talking about details here right let me hit you with a glide step outside to get back inside just to work back to that outside release and of course <laughs> we wasn't going to get the ball thrown here of course they weren't going to throw us the ball right 
But I just wanted to show everybody that if Jalen Hurts, it not Jalen Hurts, that if C.D. Lamb is um, presented some type of coverage where his space is taken away, I think he has tools and the um, you know the awareness and the conditioning to kind of get off of those blocks. Let's keep watching. Let's take a look at this place. C.D. Lamb is up top. Take a look at him. Take a look at him. We're going to come back and talk about it. Details, right? We're always going to talk about details. Now, this goes into his route running playbook, right? Because it's special to me, not because it's a double move. It's not special because it's an out and up. He created this space on his own. Let me tell you why. It goes back to details, right? If we're gonna if we're gonna run an out and up, and it's special because he's a college football player, and a lot of college receivers don't have this already. If he's gonna run an out and up, first of all, let's let's take a look at the out because the up don't work if the out doesn't work. So we really gotta sell this out. So we're going to get a boom, boom, boom. And look at the small detail. Look at CD getting his head around, right? Every college receiver ain't doing that, first of all. I, I mean, I could just run up and run out and run back up. But what really made this work for him is that he really flicked that head around, right? He really got that head around like, I'm getting the ball here. I'm getting the ball. I'm selling you this image of I'm getting the ball. And if this is a cornerback or just a, this could be a cornerback in the National Football League, right? If this is a cornerback and you're running an out route and you're not selling that image, I'm just going to stay deep and get ready for the double move. But me getting my head around, me really flipping that head around like I'm looking for the football, you're going to bite on that and then it's going to give me more room to get my ass upfield. Then after that, it's ball game for you, player. Fantastic nuance. Then he, then he got up and flexed at him. Look at him. Then he got up and flexed at him. Look at him, Sedarian. Look at him. Um, but just details, man. Nuance, man. Even just running this screen right here. Just not just taking one step and running the screen. I'm gonna get up field. I'm gonna sell some stuff to you, man. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna take about five steps. I'm gonna take about well, it's like three yards. Four. Yeah, about five steps. Yeah, sure. Let me take about four yards and then turn around, right? Because if I just turn here, a good cornerback would just run down and just tear the screen up. But I'm gonna get a handful of steps. Then I'm gonna turn and run my you know run my jailbreak tunnel screen or whatever. Ever, right details man the small little details bro and you know details are part are a part of route running of course but you know even being able to dig to dig in and out of these breaks man take a look at him break down here man take a look at him look dropping his butt right there exploding out of his hips right there just to get look the, the cornerback look at your corner here he looking at the why he looking at the end zone for what what is why is he looking in the end zone? See, he's not in the end zone. Why are you turning your back to him? You can't cover CD Lamb with your back turned to him. What are you doing? You're gonna make a good little catch on the sideline and get out of bounds, man. Now we got the serious analysis out the way, man. I just want to show some fun plays. Just some fun plays that I like so much, man. Uh, these are just some of his highlight catches, man. And if he was only a short pass yak player, he wouldn't have the hands to make these catches with your goofy ass. And what I like about these catches, bro, is that you know, once he makes these catches, he turns into ah! <laughs> once he makes the let me move everybody out there. Hey y'all take a look at CD Lamb right here. Just just down bottom. Take take a look at CD. Just take a look. Just just take a The referee gonna try to hold us, man. This wasn't even this wasn't even on his stat sheet, man. This wasn't even on his stat sheet, bro. Just 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 Come on, ref, man. You gotta let my guy make it, man. Ref, you gotta let my guy make it, man. What what do we ref? You you gotta let Ref, you gotta let Sedarian make it, bro. You gotta let Sedarian. Let me move on, man. What else I got on here, bro? What was I saying? Yes, it's it's like when he makes these catches, he turns into Yak guy again, man. And that's just what's <laughs> y'all gonna stop playing with my guy. Y'all gonna stop playing with CD Lamb. What's so wrong with being a Yak guy, man? It's fun being Yak guy. You know what I mean? Um, I just felt personally attacked, man. You know, when this conversation first happened, look at him flexing. I just felt so attacked when this conversation first happened, man. I, I just I just felt some kind of way. And I know a lot of people do understand because a lot of people watch film. A lot of people do understand that C.D. Lamb is a complete receiver. Everybody doesn't have this problem. But there are a few people out there that just don't believe water wet, man. They don't believe Gris Grocery, you know. You know what I mean? They, 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 they just don't believe it. So every now and then I got to make a video like this just to prove my point, man. So if you're one of these CD Lamb haters, man, you're one of these uh, Eagles fans that wanted them but didn't get them. 
So now you, you're just going to find any little way you can just kind of hate on him or whatever. Oh, he's not good here, 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 here. Vash Lombardi showed you six little reasons that ain't got nothing, nothing to do with yak ability. Why he's this, this, this and that. Um, if you get into an argument with one of these I am legend monsters, dog, please just refer them to this video or just take the video what I said and think about the different games that I showed you and and just tell him, man, go watch the UCLA game where he's making these big catches. Go watch the the Texas game. You know, he's a great blocker. Go watch him versus the TCU guys. Watch him make these plays, man. And, and uh, you know, we, we just want to further the community. We just want to make people better with the wonders of film and, and education. I'll say that education. But anyway, this is the last city city land film session. I'm going to drop until training camp. <laughs> Boy, y'all know it's, it's going to be a lot of CD Lamb content, boy. It's going to be some fire emojis up here. We're going to get plenty of CD Lamb content, so y'all please stay tuned for that. Um, but, yeah, man, it's the last uh, CD Lamb at Oklahoma film session I'm going to drop. It's just no more to talk about. I just think I just cover the player so much that uh, we just ain't got nothing else to say. We ain't got nothing else to talk about about him. You know what I mean? So, uh, moving forward, I'm still going to look at a lot of our undrafted guys and um, – you know, kind of break those guys now, talk about the guys that I do and don't like. And um, we're just going to keep this little train moving. Stay y'all asses in the house so we can get football on time. You know what I mean? Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Welsk, and the Peace, Whiskey, man. Salute. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.